What's this called again? That type of music? Uh, Southern Soul. Have you started doing Southern Soul yet? Fire? Mm -hmm. You thought about doing Southern Soul music? No. Kind of like a country funk. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not cause no artist. Again, I gotta have a certain artist to work with. All right, we're live here. Your number one station for Dawker Tipper R&B Hot 92.3 is the inspirational love hour. Listen, and I got my brother, my ace in the building, the one, the only, Young Fire, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. He's in the building. He's in the building. Thank you for having me. Thank you very Absolutely, much. Absolutely, brother. It's been a long time coming. I'm happy you're here, man. Mm -hmm. So we just getting started. You know how we do. I got to start out like I always do with a little prayer. Father God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for everything you do in our life collectively and individually, Lord. Just thank you for every listener that's tuning in. I pray that this show helps jumpstart their week, that this week brings overflow, good news, happiness in their heart, happiness in their life. We claim this to be one of the best weeks ever. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So, and then the affirmations that we do. So this is what I do on the show. I do my affirmation and then they repeat after me on radio land, right? So I say it and we repeat after me, right? Okay. okay. Goes like this. Great things are meant to happen to me. All right. My life is amazing. I will achieve any goal I set. The grace to be wealthy is on my life. The grace to be healthy is on my life. This will be one of my best weeks yet. Mm. One of my best weeks yet. So yeah, man, trying to inspire the people, brother. I love that. Yes. I love that. Yep. Every day, every day, I try to tell my tell them to write it down, and you know, and mm -hmm. try to make it happen. So, all right. So you here in the city? Listen, y'all. So, so the background. I just want to give you a little background on me and this man's relationship, man. So, um, man, we've been friends for a long time. Yeah. 20 plus. Yeah, yeah about 20, 20 plus. plus. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah 20, <laughs> 20 plus. I, listen, yeah. you know, I start, how old am I? <laughs> well, yeah, don't ask questions. You don't want yeah. to ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't want that answer. Just, just oh, quiet. man. Yeah, so, yeah, plus, man, yeah. 20 plus years, man. And uh, uh, fire is the reason I came on. I, I had the uh, a courage to go ahead and make that move. Yeah, and get up out of Iowa, man. It was the best move I made, man. And I just said, uh, uh, brother, I appreciate you for that. Oh, man. Absolutely. I want to give oh. you your flowers for that, man. I done learned a lot from this man. You know, he's he's the friend slash mentor. And he, he, I don't know if he knew he was, but I got to give you them flowers right man, here. Man, I love that. Absolutely. I appreciate you, bro. Absolutely, I'm man. So super happy that you actually ended up coming out here. You know, exactly. I tried to get some other month, but they, was, yeah. they wasn't. <laughs> they, wasn't, wasn't <laughs> they wasn't. They didn't have it in them, Jay. They didn't have it in them. <laughs> they didn't have that budget yeah, in them. Nah, they didn't have it in them, man. Well, and you know what I've been realizing, man? Everything ain't for everybody. No. Right? No. Uh, no. Um, right. Because it, it, I think before you even make that ship, you have to have mind shift, mind shift change. Oh, yeah. Right? Absolutely. Because if not, bigger cities, I don't care where you go, it'll eat you up. Oh, yeah. 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 You can get ate up in Iowa. So exactly. If you can get ate up there, then you can definitely get ate up in Atlanta. Exactly. Exactly. LA, wherever you decide to go. Yep. And that's my that's one of my bigger points is that you can fail in Iowa. This is true. So it's like, why not take a chance? Yep. Fail like, big. If we're going to fail, let's have some shrimp. Let's have some. Let's have a nice restaurant around exactly. us and fail. Let's have some people that's successful around us and fail. Let me look at something. I don't want to these bunch of people that ain't doing nothing. They yeah. can fail with them and then yeah. they hate on me at the same time. No. No, man. That ain't, nope. that ain't admirable at all. That ain't uh, it, man. I don't want to be a part of that. So. No. No. Yeah, so, I mean, even for me, I would take it a dive. It, uh, a, a leap of faith when I left, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. was like, you know, yeah. what are we gonna do? Barbecue and meal, do baby. We gotta, exactly. We gotta get in here. <laughs> What's the game plan? Here, right. But I think it's just you know putting that plan in place, executing it, and just taking the chance, man. And that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing, man. I was talking to um, one of my guys, Bobby, um, that has a show. Uh, Matthew, what's the name of Bobby's show? Do you remember? Image for Lives. Image for Lives. Image for Lives was on his show, and he, he was highlighting, he had came down, he was highlighting people that moved out of uh, Iowa, mm -hmm. out of Des Moines specifically, and oh, they wow. had made something, you know, out wow. of nothing type of thing. So we did his show, man, and um, he was basically thinking, was like, what made you make that move, and what, you know, gave you the, you know, the courage mm -hmm. to do it when in Iowa it can be so comfortable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You, it may not be productive. And, and some people are. Don't get me wrong. Some people are productive in their own world mm -hmm. and what they're doing, right? It could be something in the community or what have you, or they got like a certain job, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. insurance is big that way, stuff like that. But I think in entertainment mm -hmm. or anything around that, it's just not really there like that. You know what I'm saying? No, no, um, no. They're trying, but it's like you have to get. But that's anywhere you kind of kind of get out of your mm -hmm. shell, you know. And and y'all know your boy didn't got that became a deacon. I'm in his ministry train, so you know I start talking about Jesus and how he had to even live his own land. Mm -hmm. They didn't respect him even where he was at, as far as when him doing uh, the miracles. Yes. <laughs> so who are we? Hello. So who are we? <laughs> he had to get up out of there. 
<laughs> you gotta get about whoever I'm talking to right now on this other line. Like, you gotta get get on. You gotta go. You gotta go. Make that move. And and, and and you know what? Somebody had told me, man. And and this is some of the question I was gonna ask you too. So I'm just you know I'm just going to drink. We just have conversation. Mm-hmm. And um. Uh, a cat told me there's so many different jewels that I, I know God was using people as angels in the moment, True. right? Just to say certain stuff to me. And he, one thing he said, he said, Jay, whatever you do, don't start having no kids here. Mm. He was like, man, because if you have some kids, you ain't going to leave. Bro. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's over. Yeah. It's over. You ain't going to leave. So, so mm-hmm. from you, let's, let's, let's start there. Yeah. So, so how was that? Because I, even like that, right? I, and like I said, I'm, it's going to be a lot of me giving you flowers and stuff like that. And that's just talking. But, man, I, way before I had JJ, right? Mm-hmm. You had Jada. So yeah. I watched you with her, mm-hmm. right? And so just how was that knowing you had to make a move, knowing you had to do what you oh, had to yeah. do, right? Uh-huh. As being like a girl dad and being a father. not yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're different. Mm-hmm. We're built different, right? Sure, and sure. and so just watching, I seen how that interaction was and how you had her all the time. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. How was that for you, with becoming like with as a as a dad having to make the move, but just overall yeah. when it came to leaving Iowa, how was that? Yeah, it was amazing. I ain't gonna lie to you. It is the reason that I'm here. It's one of the things that I'm proudest to say as a dad now mm-hmm. and to my daughter. Is yeah, that she is a the biggest and maybe the only factor of why I'm here today. Mm. You know what I mean? It was because of her that I had to take this serious. You know, I'm a young. I was a young man. Yeah, uh, when I made a lot of these life changing decisions, I didn't exactly. know how they were going to play out. Yeah. But um, one thing I did know is I didn't want to fail as a father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my, my, my dad wasn't really... I had a stepfather and a real father. Both of them were mm-hmm. very interesting. Men. Yeah, yeah. Um, I learned a lot of what not to do. By gotcha. Them. Yep. And then yep. by the time I got to my daughter, I'm like, look, I'm not going to make the same mistake. Absolutely. I think that's one of our responsibilities is yep. to, try to try to fix whatever our family kind of put on us. Yeah. And um, so once I had my daughter and I had her very young, 19, I was just like, you know what? Or 20. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's time to get serious. We're not playing no games. Yeah. We're not playing no games. We're not, uh, we're not, it's not a hobby anymore. Now it is professional. Yeah. And I started treating it like that. Every single day we're working, every single day we, uh, we're we not just sitting still. Yeah. I'm going to reach out to people and try to figure out how to get out of this situation. Exactly. This, this ain't it. Yeah. So for me, it was, uh, it was amazing because it kicked me in the gear. I don't know if I would have kicked into the same gear mm. if it wasn't for her. Gotcha. It's like, you know, when you're on your own, but you ain't got... Like, I don't, it's I just could, you. I could take my time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like it could take me forever to kind of mold if I, you know, if I just think about it. And especially when there's, I had some motion already too. Uh-huh. So I was making pretty good money for being there. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, look, we at this age where you got to make these moves now, or uh-huh. I'm get older, and it's going to be a little yeah. bit more difficult. And like you said, with the kid thing, once you have a kid there. It's really tough. Yeah. You know, your baby's mom. Especially if you're an active father. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Active. That's the same thing. Yep. You yep. know what I mean? So, um, luckily for me, so my journey uh, started with uh, beat battling, actually, as a producer. And um, by the time I was 19, 20, I had already become a really successful uh, beat battling mm-hmm. producer. So, mm-hmm. that's how I was able to get out of Iowa. I had already built a little bit of fame online mm-hmm. from just battling Rockwilder, the, uh, the big producer at the time. Yep, yep, yep. And um, having a crazy record. I was like 230 and 9 or something crazy. Oh, wow. And, like, if this was boxing, it was stupid. I'd be Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, was, I, I, I was, and I'm from Iowa, so yeah. it, was, it was a phenom. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, what yeah. was going on? Um, and that, uh, you know, that opportunity led to a lot of other opportunities online where people put me on for free on their websites mm-hmm. and promotions. And I ended up meeting a guy named Young Money, uh, who was friends with Young Cash, who was mm-hmm. best friends with T-Pain. Oh, that's where they yeah, came from. So that's gotcha. how that happened. Yeah, so okay. was, uh, Young Money was just, he actually reached out to me on a site called PMP, which is where you would sell independent beats to producers, or to artists. Uh-huh. And he was just like, yeah, man, your stuff's hard. He kept trying to make independent plays for me. And then one day he was just like, look. I'm about to connect you with Young Cash because mm. I played him something. And he said your your stuff was crazy. Yeah, yeah. So um, he uh, connected us, and then as soon as I got on the phone with Young Cash, it was, this was like pre FaceTime. So uh, got it was you. like uh, I don't know what was, I don't know what it was been Zoom or something something like that. Yeah, it was Zoom. It was yeah. We didn't have Zoom. <laughs> Skype. Yeah. This is something Probably like Skype or something. Yeah, yeah. Skype. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly that's what it was. was. Yeah, it was Skype. Yeah, it was Skype, and uh, he called me on Skype in the studio. I'll never forget. I was happy to be talking to Cash because yeah. he was somebody. From yeah, 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 yeah. From Iowa, bro. So exactly. Like, it's a, dude, a rapper from Florida. Got yeah. a little motion. Let's go. Yep. And then uh, he, you know, I talked to him for about ten minutes, and he slid out the way and was like, "By the way, I'm just the man next to the man. I want to introduce you to the man and introduce me to T Pain right there wow. on the phone. First call. Wow. And T Pain was like, "Yeah, bro, you're amazing. I don't want to fly you out." Wow. 
it's one call one day and just everything got yeah. real serious. That's dope. It flew me out the next day. You wow. You know what I'm saying? And it was maybe two days after. Okay. And um, I went there and I started working with him. For, and, you know, so he was in Miami at the time and we were working on music there. And then eventually we moved to Atlanta and that's why I set up base and camp there. Okay. And I had a nice little foundation because yeah. I had signed with T-Pain. And yep. So, you know. Made yeah. that leap a little bit easier, but it's still a leap. It's still yeah, a leap. Yeah, it's still a leap. It's still a leap. There ain't enough money to be like, hey, look, we done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, sir. <laughs> I still needed to earn some cash. All right, we got enough to get down here, and well, we got to figure out what happens. We got to figure that. it out. You know what I mean? So yep. It was it was a leap of faith, and then you know, in, in regards to even our story, man. Like, yeah, you know, I, I knew always, even back then. There's a certain type of personality, a person that is just going to be successful. Yeah. I feel like they just from a kid. Yep, you just got a certain type of tenacity to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Where it's like I'm just not gonna fail. I'm exactly. Gonna, I might fail on the way to my success, but yeah, but I'm not gonna fail. In yeah, but I'm gonna learn. You know what too. I'm saying? Yep. Right. Hundred percent. And everybody and I would don't have that trait. And everybody, well, at least from where, where we came from, yeah. we didn't yeah. have that trait. And so I always recognize that about you and our relationship. We would have. Positive, mm -hmm. uplifting conversations mm -hmm. that were full of dreams and absolutely, and not full of uh, doubts and and what wouldn't happen or couldn't happen. Yeah, right? yeah, which was a thing in Iowa. Nobody didn't believe nothing was possible. Mm -mm. So yeah, you know, for me it was like shoot. As soon as I got the call, I'm trying to figure out how to get you down there. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> like um, I just said, man, I'm coming. I'm on my way down. I, you know, I got got a couple more parties I got to uh, do. Man. <laughs> Oh, I remember that time. I'm like, bro, if you don't come on, bro. I'm like, on. man, I ain't leaving, man. Not yet. I can't go yet. But uh, uh, but it all, it all worked out, man. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so crazy. Just in that, right? Like, mm -hmm. just, I know just you making that first step. It just, it just, you know, I always go back to just how God just ordains our steps. And stuff happens how it's supposed to happen, when it's supposed to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Just just the whole 360 of now your daughter came there. You know what I'm saying? How, yeah. how uh, um, that side of it. And and just mm -hmm. basically how that's working out, and she started college. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? Doing that thing, and yeah, and and basically um, the whole beat battle thing. Mm -hmm. How that came full circle, yeah. right? Yeah. And and so now you got the biggest platform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing that yeah. type of thing. Yes. Yeah, and and so I think overall everything is just timing. Mm -hmm. And with this being Money Talk Sunday and us talking to people, just inspiring them to just take that leap, mm -hmm. take that chance mm -hmm. and to not be fearful. Yeah. Right. And just know that if you just if you just put the work in. Right. Mm -hmm. Something's going to come. You just can't get lazy. Yeah. You can't get lazy, man. You can't. And, and one thing about this dude, man, I, I want like I try to get him to come to the club. He didn't want to come. <laughs> he was every day. Mm -hmm. In there working every day, working in that for hours. I would tell you something. It's still that today. Yeah. I'm oh yeah. Working fourteen hour shifts. Yeah. Every day. Yep. For over twenty years. Yeah. So it's not easy. You know, there's no type of this that's like, oh, you're just getting laid. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think if you want to be extraordinary, you're gonna have to put an extraordinary absolutely. work somewhere. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um, and that's that's what it takes. And yeah. People ain't gonna do that. They're yeah. Not. That's. The easiest way to separate yourself is just to put the work in. There's like nine percent of people aren't going to put the work in. That part. They're going to talk a lot. Yep. And then they're going to do nothing. And they're going to do nothing. <laughs> you know what yep. I mean? So yep. once you just start even living that part out, you're going to get further than a lot of people. Even, you know, if they say shoot for the moon, you land on the star. Yeah. It's literally that. Yeah. You know that's good. Mean? That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, because cause folks just, you know, and, and, and that's one thing that I think that I get frustrated with. Because, you, I, you know, you experience that everywhere you go. I experience oh, yeah. that down here. It's like. Man, I'm about action. I, yeah. I don't want to just stay stagnant. I don't want you just let's not just talk about meeting. Let's not talk about doing something. Let's not let's not get together so that you can just kind of eat off of what I got going on. Like what what motion you got going on, on. or create motion. Come on, you can create motion. So that's one thing that I've noticed about here being in a bigger city for sure mm -hmm. is um, man, these boys create motion. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They could, some of it's legal, some of it ain't legal, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's motion. <laughs> I, I was down the legal side, but <laughs> oh, for sure. I, I, but um, I, 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 I that's what it takes, man. Because if if you really want something, man, you gotta go for it. Mm -hmm. You gotta go for it, mm -hmm. and you can't let nobody, you know, get in the way of that. So, um, so let's let's go there. Let's mm -hmm. let's let's talk about. Okay, you was with, with doing doing the rock battle, right? Mm -hmm. And so now, audio box. Yeah. Now, audio box. Yes. And 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 the beat battles now. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so uh, Audio Box it was my uh, chance to pay it forward. You know, okay. it's one of the few things that people can do from around the world um, to actually build a brand is to do something online. And I think as a producer, 
we only have so many options. We can sell beats to independent artists. We can try to do the, the placement thing. I like to call them chasements because uh -huh. you chase chasements. Huh? You trying to get placements, but you you just chasing. Gotcha. You don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, and and um, I wanted to provide an opportunity for producers to be able to build their brand without having to go chase after artists. Because uh, the reality is, a lot of these uh, producers, they ain't got the backbone, uh, uh -huh. they're not really built for this. Like, they're not uh -huh. built to deal with the industry. The industry... As so they, got the, they may have the talent, but not the business. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, uh -huh. we might be crazy talented, introverted, and okay. all that, but we, don't, we have the, uh, the talent, but we don't have that... that um, it take a lot of, uh, you know, it take a lot of courage a lot yeah. of strength to be able to make it through a lot of no's you yeah, know yeah, yeah 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 absolutely like, what's going to happen as a, as a producer working for artists yeah you're going to get told no a lot mm. so you know people don't have that in them um and the rejection also sometimes takes you down a different path you gotcha. know what i'm saying so it's like for me as a producer rather than them getting all caught up because, you know, as a producer, once you reach a certain point, you're like, all right, what do I do? I'm uh -huh. professional now, yeah. so I got to go do these artists, right? Yep. What if the what if the other option was to become a competitive music producer where mm. I'm creatively battling other producers mm -hmm. to earn money, yep. to build my brand, yep. and then sell beats all in one location? So that's kind of what Audio Box is. You know okay. what I mean? It's like, look, instead of – imagine I'm in high school and it's like, you know, we go to college – or we can go be uh, an independent uh, contractor, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. the case yep, may be. Yep, right? yep. And then the music industry would be going to college. He's like, you're going to go through a lot to mm -hmm. get to that to get to the graduation mm -hmm. it's gonna be a lot of ups and downs it's gonna be a lot of people hating on you yep. it's gonna be a lot of things that you're talented enough for that you won't get the opportunity to be in that's exactly. just a part of it yep. when you go this other route you know, which is what I'm trying to create for producers. It's like you'll be able to start today rather than waiting four years to build your brand or whenever an artist decides to pick your beat and make you somebody. Yeah, yeah. Now you can start doing it today and mm. I can build my brand. I could beat one of the top producers on the website and get some fame and notoriety now. Start Got selling you. beats yep. to pick up people because they see me on the charts. I'm on the top charts and now I'm doing that. And then on top of that, we have tournaments for these producers too. So okay. they constantly have prizes coming in. We're pr we have prizes from every company available mm. from software to to you know speakers and and, and um headphones and mics and everything. okay so, so all they, kinds of yeah, equipment they so can win all kinds of stuff quite literally like okay it's, my thing is for it to be an alternative to the music industry that's mm, that's what our biggest good. goal is you know what i that's mean good. and to keep creativity alive because okay. your creativity is going to become stagnant as a professional music producer because only certain type of stuff that they want right period Gotcha. You. Like you just said on the way in, you talking about what's that type of music you you making? The Southern Soul. Southern Soul. Yeah. Like, like I love the way that sounds, but I have no reason in my life to make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No artist that, that I does give that. that to. Got you. Right. And but, that would have the return that right, you would need make, to even like, make it. Yeah. Time. So it's yep. like, what am I yep. doing with it? Exactly. Right. But with the beat battle platform, we have over thirty two different genres, and we have a genre that is just free smoke where you can do anything you want, mm. right? And so that allows somebody like me, if I did want to get that off and get my practice in, mm -hmm. I can do it there, okay. battle other people, get the feedback so I can get better, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And 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 improve without having to be self, like otherwise the alternative to that is making that stuff and letting it sit on my hard drive and maybe being self-critical of mm. it or waiting for a Jordan J to come along. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'll have it, you know what Got I mean? You. Got so you. So for the producers that are kind of pigeonholed, it gives them opportunity to get out and do other genres, get okay. practice and get feedback from people that ain't your mama, okay, your cousin, yeah, uh, somebody that's a hater, you know, like or just yourself because yeah, 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 are loners, yeah, and you might be in your head too much. Like for me coming out, I one of the coolest things about beat battling. I thought I was dope. Of course, I was dope in Iowa, yeah. But once I realized, shoot, it's a whole world out here. Mm -hmm. It's cold, yeah. It's push me, you yeah. Know? Competition gonna make you act different. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like yep. not just you. It's one thing, but we got we'll go against Jordan. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I might have to pull an extra. You gotta arm come up. with it. I gotta, yeah, I got to. I got to yep. do something different, and that's yeah. what competition breeds. So it's gonna make you creatively better. You're gonna earn money. You're gonna be able to build your own brand now. Yeah. And for me, that's the whole. Goal Goal of us, I want all of our partners understand that, and all the producers on the site understand that the goal is, and that's what I really love about this. And I don't think um, the beat battle site that I was a part of got the opportunity to do was really let everybody see a bigger vision. It was, a, it was, a, it was just you know, they just the beats, and that's it was it. Just, they didn't really know, you know, they gotcha. just kind of was doing their thing. Okay, and I, you know, for us, it's I'm a person that had 
I got to see where where's the step in front of the step. We mm-hmm. don't we not just moving aimlessly. Mm-hmm. Where's the goal? Yeah, <laughs> you know what yep. I'm saying? Like, yep. Where are we getting to? Like, what are we getting to? And yeah. then, you know, I'm already good. I would love to be able to change other producers' lives. That's like that's one of dope. my biggest goals. Like that's dope. Somebody be like, Audio Box changed my life. Yeah, like, oh, I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I got these partnerships and if somebody can make a living off just beat battling, that's incredible. Exactly. You know, you gotta think like. And the music industry is shrinking mm. and it's oversaturated. Got you. So you're competing with a bazillion people yeah. to just get a placement. And yeah. it's only so many albums coming out of here, my is brother. true. So, so many budgets. It's only so many budgets <laughs> and they shrinking. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> so the budgets are shrinking, shrinking too, huh? They ain't paying what they used to pay. Wow. For these producers, so. Ain't no more million dollar videos? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 Jack. If you're paying a million dollars for a video, you are going to be in debt for the rest of your life. <laughs> somebody shafted you, you good, bro. Yeah, somebody got you good. Somebody got you good. That's about five artists' budget today. Okay? Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's a different time. That's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so, 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 it was a long time coming, mm-hmm. long time coming, mm-hmm. but you got it. Mm-hmm. Grammy award winning. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh man. So Love. talk about talk about that. Talk about that a little Woo! bit. Now now that one, you never know when the Grammy's gonna come because yeah. you know, everything you create you feel like is amazing. Uh-huh. But you know, the people are the people and they're gonna find what they find amazing. Exactly. So I was nominated twice before I actually won the Grammy. Okay. Um I was nominated for Tamar Braxton's album Love and War. I did a song on there called uh Thank You Lord, which yes, is my own that was gospel dope. placement that I yeah. ever got. Um, and then um, I did a song for Lil Wayne called How to Hate. Uh-huh. And I was nominated for that one in uh, 2011, I think. Both, it was like 2011 and 13 was the two years I was nominated. Okay. And um, and then this year, or yeah, last year we got nominated. Uh, I wrote a song in the Barbie movie. Okay. And I was writer this time, not a producer. Okay. Which was very different for me because I've mm. only been songwriting professionally for like a couple of years. I've yeah. always helped artists that I've been working with. But I never took the full just, oh, I'm a writer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and to where I'm not making the beat, too. Got so, you. Uh, this is the first time I got called and never forget Trinidad. Shout out to my dog, Trinidad James. Shout out to Trinidad. Yeah, one of the greatest humans on earth. He called and was like, yo, we got this play for Barbie. Write this verse for Cali. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just pulled up, did the verse in, you know, uh, 10 minutes. I'm talking about 10 minutes. Came in hot. It was uh, my dog, Super King, was in there. Mm-hmm. I was I was ready. I, I, yeah. One thing I knew, I was ready. Um, yeah. And, you know, growing up in Iowa actually prepares you pretty well for a Barbie soundtrack. You mm-hmm. know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like yeah. the vernacular you need to be able to yep. to, to kind of communicate the message that needs to be conveyed in that song. Mm-hmm. I, I have, and I li- it lives within me because I grew up that way. Got so you. when it comes to writing that song, very easy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I wrote it really quickly. Um, we collaborated and finished it off and cool Callie came in and cut it in two seconds she was happy she ain't mm-hmm. had no edits to, you know when you're working on movies they have edits almost for anything so wow sometimes people just they just want to be involved so they gonna just say change something got you they didn't change because they didn't get credit on it literally that they just want something in there to just to be like hey do 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 yeah uh, okay now I'm a part of it cool that didn't happen this time which is was was a great indicator for I knew we were going to be on the actual album yeah and then when we got nominated you know I felt good about it but you know, you don't never know. You just don't you never know. Fuck, it's a Barbie. You know, it went yeah. up. It went up this year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then uh, we got that that win, and I couldn't believe it to be honest with you. And, and I I ordered my award. Yeah, and uh, it wasn't real until I got it in my hand. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Say it like that. <laughs> it wasn't real until it was. Like oh yeah, this real, and you see your name on there. Yeah, yeah, like this I is a real to, deal. Yeah, I had to give. I got two copies of the, uh, the certificate too. I gave one to my mom. And, That's dope, and that was. That was amazing. She she put it on her stand. It's like I walk by this every day. And, yeah, you know, for, man. For my mom and it's like, hey, look, all that sacrificing you did, all the weird That's things right. you had to deal with in your life. I'm happy I was able to do something with mine so that you could be proud and and move on. Absolutely. So it's such a beautiful thing. Absolutely. Shout out to our moms, man. Shout out to mamas, man. Shout out to mamas, man. They they, they hold it down. P O P. A B C N one two three. Let me tell you something. They do look, a little bit of everything. Look, look. <laughs> Ain't not, nah, I ain't gonna say nothing too bad about the pappies, but yeah, yeah, the pappies in that generation they ain't really quite have it figured out yet. Well, you know what though, too, man. What I I can say, we got a lot of friends right around our age um, from the crib. Yeah, that are good fathers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah that in that our age, say, yeah, oh yeah, we fixed it up. Yeah, we I, fixed I'm it. really proud. I think I'm we really fixed proud it. of our yeah. generation. I think 
um, the the kids that we're raising are yeah. going to be incredible. Yeah. I think that we we understood very fully the effects of what mm-hmm. our parents did to us and the mm-hmm. parents before them. Yeah, and we don't want that for them. We don't want it. No, and we yep. know there's better option, better options. So that's what we're doing. You yep. know what I'm saying? We're doing the work. Where it's on different levels. Everybody ain't super getting it, but in terms of attention, which is the main thing, it's not about money. No, you know everybody thinks it's about buying a kid. This, 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 but that don't matter. But you can them kids don't nothing. care about that stuff. All man. they want is you. They present. want you. Presence. Yep, their presence. That's it. That's yep. it. That's all. And you're gonna help them make choices. Help them, you know, become a man or woman or whatever it is they're going into. And and that's more valuable than buying them any toy. Yep. Uh, you know that they could ever want. And, yep. And that's, that's really so all it's about. That's what we wanted from our parents. Exactly. Bro. That's we what we really wanted. We wanted the toys too. Yeah, we want some stuff. But yeah. uh, <laughs> shoot, we wanted to hang out. We wanted to get some of. I wanted to be able to have a safe place in my. The exactly. Way that I, the way that I speak to my daughter, and I, you know, I hope that this. I see this with your daughter now too. Y'all got y'all got a great relationship. Mm-hmm. There's no like just we don't speak. Yeah. You know. You know what I mean? And then when it comes to being older, it's nothing better than having your daughter feel comfortable or son feel comfortable talking to you about things. Uh huh. Like you wouldn't have ever talked to your mom. Exactly. My daughter told me everything. Yeah. Girl, boy trouble, yep. girl trouble. Yep. First time she ever tried to do anything a little bad. Yeah. She let me know. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying? Like all of that. All the things that you normally hide, she uh-huh. hide nothing. Yep. You know She'll come tell mean? you. Yep. And that that to me is like a sign of a great parent too. It's like, well, my kid ain't she's afraid enough to not do no crazy stuff because mm-hmm. my parents are gonna definitely have some repercussions, but I'm gonna still talk to them. I ain't That's afraid good. to get advice from them. I ain't yeah. afraid to uh, you know, just tell them. Yep. See what they think. Yep. That's I think what our all of us are on too. We understand that like we couldn't talk to our parents about. Like, yeah, that's why we did all that sneaky stuff. Uh huh. Sneaking around. <laughs> sneaking around. Like, yep. If I could have talked to, her, I would have just talked. To humping it. in the shed. Yeah. Humping in the shed. Yeah. We're <laughs> going to hide. Go get it. That's what we're doing. I ain't going to lie to you, little. little gotcha. gotcha. No. <laughs> but God. But yeah. listen, listen, Look, man. Hey, I'm a young. I'm a, I'm a reformed man. All right. I ain't that way no more. I'm a good. I'm man. not that way no more. <laughs> okay. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that. That's so true, man. That's one another pieces. Like I said, the guy told me, one. The guy, one man told me, you know, far as like uh, uh, not having the kids there. Right? He's like, man, get out of here. Do what you got to do. Yeah. And another one, man. Listen, we was randomly at an after hours that I was having back home, and a dude was talking to me, drunk as a skunk, mm-hmm. right? And I don't know why we say that, but he was drunk as a skunk. Anyway, he was. Yeah, skunks don't get drunk. Skunks don't get drunk. They've never been drunk in their life. Yeah, 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 never. (laughs) But anyway, he uh, he he was saying. He said, "Jay, when you have kids, you're not raising kids; you're raising responsible adults." Mm -hmm. And I said, and that stuck with me, Mm -hmm. right? So there's been times, you know, I'd be around family or whoever, and they'd be like, "Man, you kind of hard on her," but I love her, but because I'm like. She's not going One thing she ain't going to do She ain't going to be out here Embarrassing me Acting mm-hmm. a fool Right no, no, no. You know you can talk to me mm-hmm. But there's certain stuff You just ain't going to do Because right. you know it's not right You know And that's why you just have to Raise these kids a certain way yeah, Especially because yeah. there's so many Influences out here man And if you don't have A strong influence at home now, You can forget it buddy We had influences going up too But these influences today oh, it's different it's about a hundred million distractions and ways to not do anything. Like Man. I, I look at it all the time. I'm like, bro, this. I'm so happy I grew up when I grew up. It's definitely things that was negative about our time period. Absolutely. Show. Um, Absolutely. Whoa, this time period now. Yeah. Is is very difficult to like just maintain focus. Like yeah, so many yeah. things to be distracted by. And, and it's and it's so easy to um, fall into it when it's all around you. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So you're like the. Uh, uh, would it be anomaly? Like you're the one that's not trying to do whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. everybody else is doing everything, everybody. and it's yeah. a, it's a trend state now too. Absolutely. Where it's like you know, when we grew up, it was very cool to be an individual. Like yep. all the artists that we knew in terms of music were individuals, yep. and that's what make you like them. That's because they was yeah. different. And today, yeah. I think that's the struggle. Even as a person that creates for for other artists today, like that's one of my main things is, is professionally outright and produce for a lot of produce uh, for artists. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of them want the same thing. I come up as a producer that it was, you know, you're making unique things, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make the same beat that I no. do make. Like that's, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. that's not fun to me. Yeah. It's not creative to me. Mm-hmm. It's not player. Yeah. It's, not, it's nothing. Nothing. Nothing about that is cool yeah. to me. Um, so, you know, the, Today, where we have things like you know, and a shout out to TikTok. I love TikTok, but the whole point of TikTok is to follow trends. You know, mm. that's the whole thing. The whole thing is to find a sound that's popping, gotcha. and make a piece of content off of the sound. Gotcha. So we're in a copycat world. That's the whole. The world kind of done flipped up on that up sound each other, and it's okay. Yeah. You know, when we talking like, like if you made something, you would be like, and it sounded exactly like somebody. You'd be like, oh, you'd be ashamed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Heck no. Today it's like. Straight up take it. And the crazy thing is, because, yeah, we grew up in that era where, um, like, our clothes and everything is like, oh, I want to kill them. I want to be like, mm-hmm. these cats are, see something on the on the mannequin and throw, <laughs> you know Just what I'm like saying? That. 
I ain't changing a thing. It's like there's no individuality at all yeah. in a lot of this stuff. One thing, and I, because I am a positive person, you know yeah. this. I'm not trying to dwell on anything. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. Once I see that it is this way, one thing I look at it as is an opportunity. Mm. And that's why I looked. Um, you know, when it comes to creative uh, as a producer, that's why I created the site now. You know, gotcha. and I feel like now is the time as producers we can change. The whole landscape. We can make it cool to be different again, right? We can make it a cool to do different genres, yeah, and and not copy. Um, and that, there's a lot of opportunity to do something different when everybody doing the same. Thing, Absolutely, you know. Absolutely, so that's where we at with it, and that's where I'm at with it. Um, and that, you know, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Yep. You no, know? you just gotta figure out how to adapt as times change. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So listen, y'all. We are about to get back to it. Um, we got some music coming on here on your number one station for Adult Contemporary R&B Hot ninety two. Three is the inspirational love hour. Listen, we got young fire in the building. In the and building. listen, he's he's dropping some jewels, y'all. Listen, we'll be right back here on your number one station for Dr. Tip Around B. Hot 923 is the inspirational love hour. Let's go.